minutes or less. Well, we are following breaking news overnight out of Highland Park. It seems that sources tell us the 7 Action News. Uh, sources to 7 Action News telling us that police are now holding a man in connection with a deadly shooting at a bus stop that occurred last week. That's right. 7 Action News reporter Nima Shafe is joining us now live in Highland Park with what we're learning. Nima? Alicia and Jeff, good morning. My sources tell me that the arrest came yesterday around 5 o'clock in the evening and that they believe that Highland Park police believe they have the man behind bars this morning that actually pulled the trigger. Let's take you to last Wednesday now that actually prompted this whole entire investigation that led him to this point. We brought you pictures from just down the road here at Tennyson and Woodward where 59-year-old Stanley Carter had been waiting for the bus. Police say around 525 Wednesday morning, the suspect they now have in custody walked up to Carter as he waited for the bus and shot him. Witnesses then tell police during their investigation that the 59-year-old Hamtram McMahon was just minding his own business and had not had any problems with the shooter when he actually fired that fatal shot. Now, fast forward less than a week, and this morning we're expected to learn more at a press conference around 10:30 this morning. But again, my sources have confirmed that Highland Park Police are set to announce that they have arrested the man they believe is in connection with this deadly shooting from last Wednesday. Of course, we will have a crew at that press conference this morning. And we'll, of course, share the very latest with you on later editions of Action News. We're live this morning outside the Highland Park Police Department. I'm Nima Shafe, 7 Action News.